guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. So today, we're gonna be talking all about my tattoo regrets. So, what do you guys think of the new intro? Comment down below what you think of my new intro. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this video all about tattoo regrets. When I was 19 years old is when I got my very first tattoo. I took about a full year figuring out what exactly I wanted, how big, where I was gonna put it. So, of course, like every other 19 year old girl, I was on Pinterest and I was looking at tattoo ideas and I came across this beautiful piece that I absolutely loved. I will put up a picture of it right here on the screen so you guys can see where my inspiration comes from. So that right there was my initial inspiration. I wanted the same colors, except I wanted to add in some purple, and I also wanted to add a Bible verse right underneath it. So basically, I was trying to find an artist in a small town who did color, because most tattoo artists do black and white and they're good at black and white but I wanted color so I ended up scrolling through Facebook one day and saw that one of my friends someone I went to high school with got a really pretty colorful sunflower on her forearm right here and I immediately asked her who did it she told me the artist where they worked I went through his portfolio online it seemed pretty good his colors were pretty good and I thought you know every tattoo artist is good like at that point I thought you know if you were a tattoo artist you knew what you were doing obviously because this is your career so I thought you know he'll be able to do it he does color he'll be able to do my tattoo and it will be great I asked him how much he was gonna charge me we went to the same church so he gave me like an extremely awesome discount he was super sweet about it he said that rich people shouldn't be the only ones who have beautiful pieces of artwork on their body and i was like oh my gosh that's amazing because going into it i thought i was going to be spending about eight to nine hundred dollars on the tattoo that i wanted and by the way we're talking about this tattoo right here so he ended up charging me half the price of what i thought originally i was going to be spending on my tattoo i set up an appointment from there when i went in to get my tattoo he showed me the outline the outline was absolutely beautiful it was perfect exactly what i wanted so he did the first part of my piece which was just black and white and it looked beautiful i loved it so i will insert a photo of the black and white i was in love with this tattoo it was so pretty but I was also really excited to get it colored in. I think two, three weeks-ish went by um, before I could go in and get the color because the black and white needed to heal first. I don't know why I keep saying white. It's just black just black ink. So I went in to get the color done. About four and a half to five hours goes by and he's completed my tattoo. And I stand up and I look in the mirror. Immediately I know this is not what I wanted. But I'm like, this is permanent. It's on my body forever. He did an okay job on my tattoo, but immediately, immediately I knew. And if you saw in the previous photo, the flowers were not colored in fully the waves were completely different and originally i wanted the verse isaiah 43 2 to be underneath my tattoo and i wanted it just to be like in beautiful cursive writing so that when people saw my tattoo they could ask like what does that verse mean what is that verse so it'd be kind of like a conversation starter and talk to people sitting right here i bet you guys couldn't even see the verse at all it's not noticeable. It is literally my skin. He did like an outline of IS 432. Now I wanted the entire name of Isaiah written out on my body, but he kind of hid it in my tattoo. A couple weeks go by and I go back in for a touch up and I ask him like, hey, is there any way you could just fill in the Isaiah 43.2 and rewrite it underneath my piece so that it's more visible? And he says, no, I'll just touch it up and make it look a little bit more visible. And then me thinking like, well, you're the expert, you know exactly what you're doing. I listen to him and just let him do his thing. A year goes by and I don't love my tattoo, but it's okay, I mean, it's pretty. People compliment it, you know, I love your colorful tattoo, that's pretty. 
No one notices the verse. That was the whole reason I got the tattoos. Isaiah 43 2, which is when you go through deep waters, I will be with you. That's why there's waves all around the peonies in this tattoo. But if you look at the waves, they just look like swirls. They don't even look like waves. They literally look like swirls around my tattoo. I didn't plan on really getting any more tattoos, but me and Aiden ended up going to a tattoo convention in the Tri-Cities. And then I find this amazing artist from California and I find another peony that I absolutely love because peonies are my favorite flower. So I get my tattoo done and it took about four to five-ish hours to get this piece done because he had to do it all in one pass, the outline, the color, everything. And I absolutely fell in love with the peony that is on my elbow. Immediately after I get my elbow done, I realize, wow, this artist used different sized needles throughout my tattoo. So there's dimension in my tattoo. It looks a lot prettier than this tattoo. And I noticed that my first tattoo artist who did these two peonies right here used only one size needle throughout the whole entire tattoo. So it has no dimension at all. It's literally the same size needle the entire tattoo. And to give you guys kind of like a, a price point for my elbow, my elbow costed the same as this big piece right here. That was kind of a telltale sign right there that, okay, I'm paying for good work and I got good work. Whereas this guy charged me about 450 bucks and then I tipped him on top of that. And it was the same for this piece, if not a little more. I might've paid a little bit more for my elbow. So it was after I got my elbow that I really started to just hate this tattoo right here because these pieces don't even compare. This piece blows this piece out of the water completely. And I know that people don't look at my tattoos and say, oh wow, yeah, there's a huge difference between this piece and that piece. It's on my body. I wake up and I look at it every single day. I look at it and compare it to my other tattoos every single day. And this one right here that's in my ditch is by the same artist who did my elbow. Um, so he is the only artist I will be going to from now on. I'm gonna have him finish my entire arm. I now realize how important it is to find an artist who's extremely talented, who's extremely passionate, and does their work well. I didn't know that when I was 19 years old and first getting a tattoo. Like I said before, I thought, oh, any tattoo artist can do what I ask. Any tattoo artist can do this style. Any tattoo artist can do color. Any tattoo artist will understand my vision. And that is not what I got for my first tattoo experience. Now, having this piece, I feel like I need to basically blend it into my arm by getting other pieces. So that's my plan right now, is I'm gonna finish up this entire arm. It's not like I can cover up this tattoo. This tattoo is way too big to cover up. I mean, the only thing I could really do is ask my artist to try and fix it up for me, to add a little bit more detail. The longer that I have this tattoo, the more I start to hate it, the more I look at it and compare it to this one and this one and realize like, wow, this is not what I wanted. So now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some close-ups of my tattoo so you can get a better feel for what I'm talking about when it comes to the detailing. Okay, so here is a closer look of my tattoo right here. So as you can see, this is a peony right here and here is the second one. I have these leaves right here and then I have these weird yellow things running through my arm. I have no idea what those are all about. Um, and they go from a gradient of like blue to green to yellow. As you can see, these don't even look like waves. These just look like swirly things. I especially hate this wave right here. No idea what's going on. And here is a look at my verse. So it's supposed to say Isaiah 43 2, which you can barely even see. Originally, like I had said before, I wanted this to be just a normal wave and for Isaiah 43 2 to be written right underneath my tattoo so it was visible so that people could see it, it would catch their attention and they would ask about that first. That's not what I got. So now here is a look at my elbow and my elbow is my favorite tattoo out of all of the tattoos that I have. As you can see, it's a lot more detailed 
than my arm tattoo. I mean, even right here, just look at all of that. Look at all this detail right here that's inside the peony. It's like so well done. Just look how perfect. And this September, this piece will be two years old and I have had zero touch-ups on this piece right here. The color has held extremely well and it's just so well done. If you just compare, even looking at my arm like this, compare this to this. Do you see the difference between these pieces? Like they don't even compare. This is so much better, so much prettier than this piece right here. And then as you can see, my ditch is also done by the same artist who did my elbow. So yeah, that's a look at this one and my elbow. These two are amazing. So I am just going to put my artist right here up on the screen so you can check him out on Instagram. I highly recommend him. So moral of the story for you guys is to please just do your research when it comes to an artist. I didn't do enough research and I was so like, tattoo happy that I just wanted to get a tattoo and have a tattoo already. Another tip that I have is when you're looking at price points and you're asking for quotes on pieces, the more the tattoo costs, the better the artist is. And I know this isn't always the case, but most of the time, the more they charge, the more experience they have, the better the artist is. Look at the art that they've done. Look at the tattoos they've done. Ask them if maybe they have healed pictures of the tattoos or if they have pictures of the tattoos a year or two later. Like my artist who did my ditch and my elbow, I just sent him a healed shot of my ditch that he did last September, so it's almost been a year, and he posted that picture on his Instagram and said, Look at this piece that I did back in September. This is what it looks like 10 months later, nine months later, whatever it is, so that people are able to see like, this is what my work looks like a year later. And I have no touch-ups on this at all because he couldn't give me a touch-up, he lives in California. So that was another thing. People are able to see like, okay, this is what his work looks like if I'm not able to get a touch-up. This is what the ink is gonna look like. This is how it's gonna heal. And I know that people's bodies aren't the same. My body is really, really great with tattoos. My body um, heals very well. The ink stays in very well. So I'm very blessed to have this type of skin that keeps my tattoos looking nice. So that is my tattoo regrets story for you. If you aren't subscribed already, make sure to do so and follow all of my social medias. I put them right here on the screen for you. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.